Is the governor will determine whether school buildings are allowed to reopen this fall. Before teachers and students go back to the classroom, Onondaga County offering to test them. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan talks to one superintendent interested in the county executive's office offer. Have you heard interest from teachers or students that they'd be willing to take part in this? Not particularly. I mean, we haven't really put that question out there yet. This was really kind of came out of the if a call. It came out of the blue. Within about 24 hours, the Liverpool superintendent went from getting an email. Today, uh, I uh, reached out to all the superintendents uh, about uh, looking at testing. To meeting with the deputy county executive about testing his teachers and high school students for coronavirus. Assuming we are opening on time, our staff and our students who are going into those particular buildings that are tested would go in with some confidence that those tests uh, would prove that we have uh, no cases. An apparent shift in strategy from both the county and the state education department, which advised schools not to conduct testing in its reopening guidance until the governor yesterday invoked parents. I'll tell you what they're going to ask every school district. How are you going to test? How many tests are you going to take? Are you sure you have them lined up? It's still very early in the planning, but Superintendent Mark Potter says the best case scenario for his district is to have one of the county mobile testing sites come right to one of his buildings, set up in the parking lot, and then have teachers and students line up for a test. And I don't know how many people would take advantage of it because we can't, we can't force uh, a, a healthy person to take a test. And we certainly can't force kids to take tests if families aren't interested or won't agree with us. Like every step of school reopenings, it's a work in progress. In Liverpool, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. The county executive wants to test all teachers and if there's enough capacity, some high school students. It would likely be late August, so the results come back in time but are still relevant for September.